Hello guys and welcome to Fat Goldfish. I'm very excited today because I'm going to take you with me on one journey in one of the best goldfish stores in Europe, if not the best goldfish store in Europe, uh, that's the Star Fishers. And I also had the opportunity to make an interview with Mr. Andy Green, that's the owner of the Star Fishers. We speak a little bit about uh, how was he starting the hobby, how he made his hobby a way of life, basically put all this massive store together that work mainly with goldfish and the cold water fish. So it's a very interesting video, I'm sure you're gonna like it, watch! My background really was um, since I was sort of 12 years old I decided to get involved with the fancy goldfish side of things and quickly met up with a local friend and we decided to join the Goldfish Society of Great Britain. Um, that was at 12 years old and from that point onwards after attending meetings and getting a general interest in fish and then understanding there was a lot more to fancy goldfish than just a fan towel, it really went from there. Uh, and then I went to work for a garden centre when I was 16 years old on the aquatic side of things in the aquatic department and established that. Then decided uh, at the age of 20 that I would start Star Fisheries. That's really, that was 37 years ago now. Wow. So yeah, I've been in this industry and certainly on the fancy goldfish side for quite a long period of time. So the, the starting point really when I was 20 was my uncle who had a fairly large back garden. He was very kind in letting me put some aquariums and tanks in. So actually the starting point was approaching some local shops and um, local places that I could some, establish some uh, regular business with initially uh, and, and basically the, the whole thing grew from there. I stayed in my uncle's back garden for probably three or four years and then I bought a house fairly close by and was using the garden there and eventually both places weren't really big enough so I then progressed on to a shop with a, an outside facility and again sort of quickly outgrew that and well really we're, we're bought this place where we are here now in Sutton and Surrey and have been here for a good number of years and this in itself the place at Sutton has evolved over a period of time many changes and changes of design and tanks because not only do we do fancy goldfish we also do um, a very large range of pond fish where we supply over 400 shops in the UK with this type of fish on a, on a regular basis. Fancy goldfish obviously is a passion of mine and my background is that breeding and showing the fish. So for me this is a very important part of our business as well. Uh, in a good number of shops um, really don't um, understand uh, that the perhaps that the fancy goldfish is quite a lucrative side of the business. This has changed however in recent years and we, have a, we now have a good number of shops that are trying to establish in themselves more with fancy goldfish but initially I, had, I was able to achieve good quality fish but never really had an outlet through the shops so we were then getting approached by people all over the UK can you help us with fish, can you help us with fish and so the natural progression was eight, nine years ago was to launch the website, which is which is what we did to the end user. We don't actually supply pond fish or any single tail fish to the end user. We only specialize in fancy goldfish for that part of our business. And it was really to get our product out into the marketplace. And that was eight or nine years ago. And really since then, at that point, it's just snowballed. And now the fancy goldfish actually is a very, very big part of what we do. And although the website caters for quite a lot of the customers that we get, we also offer high, high quality fish, uh, show fish, which 
we have uh, a customer base now established for that type of fish as well. So actually, not only do we offer the standard fish for people, we offer high-end fish as well, which is, as I say, has become a very big part of star fisheries. Uh, what about your opinions? How does opinions work? So three or four times a year, depending depending on um, timings and fish stocks, but normally it's three or four times a year, with the first one being generally in October, we open the doors. If people wish to come to Star Fisheries, it's viewings by appointment. We obviously need to know, we're, we're a uh, DEFRA regulated site, we need to know who comes and goes on our facility. So normal procedure for people who wish to view our fish, it would be done by appointment. But three or four times a year is when we open our, uh, have our open days, we tend to open the doors, no viewings, appointments required, people just turn up on the day. We generally get people from all over the UK, uh, including Europe as well, travel to see our fancy goldfish. And the fancy goldfish that we have, the high-end um, fish, is generally is what is offered on our open days. And it takes quite a bit of time to build up that type of stock, that type of fish. And when you see the fishing numbers, it's, it's pretty awesome. But actually a lot of time, effort, to bring everything to a culmination to these open day points for people to see. Most of the fish come from China, although we have them now from uh, Hong Kong, uh, Thailand, Japan, and recent times, Israel, which is a new thing for us. We obviously also have fish which are produced in the UK with really good quality UK breeders supporting us, especially for varieties that are not commercially available on import from around the world. Things like Bristol Shabunkins, London Shabunkins, uh, Valtows and Broughtown Moors, in particular those varieties. So at Star Fisheries we tend to offer a really big range of fish and most people who are interested in fancy goldfish, if they do attend the open days, find them quite mind blowing to see the amount of fish that's actually available. So we do a, a large number of varieties. And we tend to specialise in if people are looking for anything in particular in terms of colour or variety, uh, things that may be difficult to get, then if we haven't got them, we generally are able to find them. What's the variety that the people are looking for? I guess the new kids on the block are the short tail Ryuki, which we first started to import in numbers probably seven, eight years ago, but they've actually gained momentum. Um, and have now got their own standard within this country which is which is really good so people are actually able to show those fish under show rules. Arandas are always very popular, the cute faces, um, women tend to I like... I saw some big, big arandas on, on our last yeah. opening, from yes. where did the fish come from? Yes, so the big arandas that we, that we had on display for the open day were from China, actually only three year old fish, so young fish by that fish was three years absolutely. old. Absolutely. So they were big fish, uh, but uh, I mean really big fish, and young, but young fish. So still plenty of development ahead. We tend to offer younger fish, even if they're larger fish, uh, enabling the customers to have a good few years ahead with, 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 with the customer. Do you can give some tips about goldfish care for the people who are starting now and they want to buy his first goldfish and he comes to your store right. and you see all these nice and beautiful goldfish. Right. What's the minimum setup I you need to have? I suppose, although goldfish do, fancy goldfish do need quite a lot of space, I have seen things written on the internet and forums and things which are portraying that they need huge amounts of space. Fancy goldfish tend to tend to do well in situations where the water is maintained. Water quality is really important, obviously, uh, on an ongoing basis, as well as filtration, but the changing of water, regular water changes is really important in conjunction with good quality food. Two things that I guess cause problems for fancy goldfish, which we see quite a lot, which are quite simple to sort of fix is, firstly, Fancy goldfish don't need a heater, actually. They're not tropical fish, and so many people come to us and say that they've got a heater in there. Uh, fancy goldfish actually do better at 
non-tropical temperatures, lower temperatures, ambient room temperatures, very good for fancy goldfish. If you want to try and breed fish or bring them on in particular, then obviously higher temperatures are more inducive for that sort of thing, but your normal fancy goldfish, ambient room temperatures is fine. Uh, the other negatives that we sometimes see is that all fancy goldfish need areas of rest within the aquarium. So air and water return, whether that be via an air pump or water return, it's absolutely crucial that you don't create a whirlpool environment, especially for the longer finned fish. They in particular need areas of rest. Uh, if, if that's not created, then the fish are constantly on almost like a treadmill which so in effect what that does is over a period of time all the decent quality food that you may be putting in is being burnt off and it is really very important that distribution of air and water within the aquarium is such that you still have areas of rest within the aquarium for fish. So next open day is going, the, the date's not set, but around the third week in November. So the date will be announced uh, on the website, on the internet, within the next couple of weeks. We've already started to gather new stock for the open day with the first open day just gone a few days ago, which was really successful. And thank you for everybody that supported that open day, but it was a mind blowing day, great day. So the next one, we're already taking in new stock, new fish, working towards the, the November open day, which will be the last one of this year. We will then start again next year, but actually the November one will be the last one of this year. So it'd be great to see some new faces. Thanks so much for the interview, Andy. Thanks, man. Cheers. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like, give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, see you guys. Bye bye.